Yeah, I think the most important thing is kind of dusting off any rustiness we all had from our holidays and kind of getting back, getting minutes on the pitch, get running into our legs and just, as I say, try and get back into our style of play. Obviously, we would have liked to win today, but I think there are a lot of positives to take from it. There were some really good patterns of play. We created a lot of chances, so it's just finding that little bit of sharpness to finish them. What about your performance? Because they're kind of big beats to fill at the back, aren't they? How do you feel you went? Yeah, they are very big beats to fill. Maybe literally too firm with Millie. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I think it's it was a lovely pitch and stuff, and I enjoyed being on the ball. And in a game like today, when we have so much possession, it's a joy to be a centre-back in a possession-based team like this. So I really had fun out there and, yeah, just enjoy sort of playing passes and trying to control the game as well as we did. And nice to get a clean sheet, because that obviously is the base to then go forward with. You looked incredibly composed. You know, I had so much time. You looked like you were been out there for a decade or so did you take any moment to think oh right this is the, the last game before I go to a World Cup not while I was on the pitch it's probably only now you've said that that I have a thing in the middle of the game you're just so sort of in the flow of it and I mean I felt good while I was out there and I felt like I built my confidence throughout the game to kind of play more progressive more zip passes through the lines and stuff so it was nice to grow into it in that way but yeah we're all so so excited to get out to Australia now minus maybe the three flights but we're <laughs> yeah. excited to get there and obviously get training once we're there and build into the first game on the 22nd. And just finally look it's not about picking now is it it's about picking three four five weeks time but I guess the biggest frustration today is that you had an awful lot of chances and I guess you know you're going to have to finish some of those aren't you in a few weeks time yeah I think that's exactly it but the most important thing is that we're creating those chances we're getting into the good positions and with a bit more sharpness we've got another behind closed doors game whilst we're out there to kind of get all those patterns of play as smooth as possible um, I think once we've kind of got all of that together we'll be absolutely fine come the tournament Brilliant. good luck on those flights thank you thanks Edna Jess as a group you clearly knew what you wanted from the game did you get it? No, because we didn't get the three points. Um, obviously, that's what we always want to play for is three points. But obviously, we are a group that are fairly new together at times. You know, players playing that maybe haven't had as many minutes over um, in their in international career. So I think a clean sheet is such a strong start. Um, you know, that's something that we really value. Uh, I think we created a lot of opportunities, but of course, we're disappointed that we couldn't get a goal today. And how was it for you playing in the central defence position alongside Esme? Because I'm not sure you would have done that too many times would you? Uh, no this week wasn't new <laughs> for me um, but no it's good fun it's always great to play and I think that it was great playing along with Esme she was just super she was confident super calming chatty it was just I felt very calm and um, and I think we spoke about things throughout the week because we you know we played together and some things maybe didn't feel right at times so we managed to kind of balance that out and get things right today. What was the thinking behind playing you maybe there in, instead of left back position I don't know you'll have to ask the manager for that one I'm not <laughs> well, really she, too sure she really gave you a remit when you went out there what did she say to you about what she wanted from your game no I think it was just as a whole you know we, we all of us along the back line have to be adaptable um, you know we, Serena's got to try things out she's got to try and figure out what her best team is and I think today was trying to was one of those moments where she's trying to figure things out um, and we as a back line just have to all stay like a, like I said adaptable we've all got to be willing to play in different positions and we've got to learn that role really well so that we can do our best in it and do you feel you did yourself justice out there today? Yeah, I mean, we kept a clean sheet, so that's obviously a defender's dream. Personally. Yeah, no, I was happy with my performance. You know, I think that, um, you know, I pride ourselves on our defending and, um, you know, not being beaten. I think that we as a collective did that well. <laughs> you did that quite well too. <laughs> well played, <Jess>. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, all good. So what do you need to improve for the World Cup after this match? We've got a lot to improve, I think. Um, I think that just being a bit more clinical and ruthless, whether that's in front of goal, whether that's punching passes through the lines, um, that side of things, that side of things, I think, can be a bit better. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of anticipation now for us to get out there. How excited are you for the tournament? Obviously, it's heading up game today. Yeah, no, I'm buzzing now. I think that you know everyone wants to play we don't love training so much so I think that getting games like this today is really exciting for us and you know the next step for us now is to get out to Australia and get going out there. A lot of teams will play like Portugal today against the England side setting off 
all the time. Is that something that you need to work on, breaking through the lines a bit more? Um, yeah, I mean, I think we've got players with tremendous technical ability and I think that that's something that they can do on a daily basis is threading those balls through. And obviously today the, um, our final third product wasn't there because we didn't get the goal, but there were so many other good things that happened throughout the game. Yeah, the first went out with England 6 April. As a group, did you kind of get what you wanted from it? Yeah, I mean, I think it was good though. We made a lot of changes. Um, we're still testing a few different partnerships together. I think we saw, saw that today. Um, and yeah, you know, we've had the, the break after the end of the season, a bit of holidays, so it was nice to just kind of get, get going again. Um, and then, yeah, we can just improve from here because, you know, it wasn't a bad performance by any means, um, but it just gives us a lot of room to improve. What did you feel the biggest positives were from today? I guess we didn't concede. Um, you know, I think we did possess the ball quite well, and in the second half especially, I think we showed that we can up the tempo, because uh, in the first half, we didn't create as many chances in the second half. I think there was many times we probably should have, the ball should have went in the back of the net, um, both on set pieces and from open play. So I think that's a good sign that, you know, we saw something in the first half and we were able to correct it a little bit. I guess the big question is, was Serena happy? Yeah, I mean, I think Serena was kind of saying, you know, there's similar things to what like I just said. Um, so I first came back together, a lot of changes. Uh, you know, myself and Georgia and, and Kira have had like a different kind of break to everybody else. So, and obviously we're three players that started today. Um, and yeah, a few changes as well. Um, and a lot of young players coming in and, and having a go as well. And just finally, you've been around these sort of squads as you leave to go to a World Cup. How does it feel this time? How ready does this group feel? Do you feel like you can go better than ever before? Yeah, I think this group's really excited because I think there's so many players who haven't had that experience yet. Um, and I think the, the World Cup will be the biggest one yet. Um, and when we talk about stories from previous World Cups, especially when I think back to 2015, there's literally like two or three of us who went to that World Cup. Um, so we've showed, shared so many stories from previous times and I think now it's, uh, there's a lot of players who you can just see the buzz that they've got um, and the excitement around it. So I think this is the most excited a, a squad's been. Brilliant. Go well. Thank we'll you.